Hey everybody, welcome back to another midweek episode. I'm really excited to join you today from my office, which is filled with books. I read a lot of books and most of the books have something to do with the Bible. And that's the question that I want to tackle this week because one of you gave me a question that launched me into a search to say, yeah, what do we believe as Lutherans about that? And here's the question. What do Lutherans think of the Apocrypha? Now, if you've never heard that word before, the word Apocrypha means hidden books. And it actually refers to, in especially Catholic Bibles, there is a section of books numbering 14 between the Old Testament and the New Testament. And, and, and as Lutherans, we don't include them in our canon of scriptures, but Catholics do. So what do we as Lutherans think about the Apocrypha? What do we think about these books? Well, first of all, just to give you a little bit of background. So these books were written during the, the time frame between the Old Testament and the New Testament. So the last book in the Old Testament was written around the year 400 BC, and then the New Testament started to be written in the first century. So there's about a 400 year period where these books are being written. And, and they're books that cover the history of, of the Jews during that time. Uh, they're books that cover wisdom writings which would be very similar to some of the wisdom writings that Solomon would write. Uh, there would be uh, books that covered liturgies and songs and hymns and prayers that the people utilized. So very, very helpful material, but never something that was included in the canon of Scripture. Never something that Jesus referred to and said, this is spoken by God. Never something that the New Testament apostles quoted in their writings as the word of God. They exclusively instead quoted from the Old Testament. And yet, these books are not evil. These books are, are helpful for us, helpful for us understanding what happened historically at this time and how the people worshipped and tried to, to make sense of life. But these books also contain errors. They contain historical errors. They contain theological errors. And this, unfortunately, is what has crept into, at times, the theology, historically, of the Catholic Church. So, praying for the dead, or praying to the saints in heaven to intercede on behalf of us, or, or giving alms in order that you might attain or secure your salvation, all of these are referenced in the apocryphal books. And all of them directly contradict things that, that Jesus himself and the other biblical writers said. So uh, we have to caution ourselves there. It is not on the same level as scripture. In fact, it wasn't declared to be on the level of scripture until the Council of Trent in 1546, and Catholics have used it ever since. But what do Lutherans think of the Apocrypha? Maybe it would intrigue you to know that Luther actually included it in his German translation of the Bible that he worked on in the early 1520s. Yeah which means that, that German Bibles, up until the middle of the, the 19th century, contained the Apocrypha. It wasn't until the German Bible was translated from German to English that we realized that we could save money on printing if we took that section out. And so it's possible that some of you have someone in your family generations ago who has a German Bible that contains the Apocrypha. Not on the same level as scripture, but something that is helpful for us. 
Also, did you know that some of the hymns in our hymnal are written based on references from the Apocrypha? So the Thanksgiving hymn, Now Thank We All Our God, it is from the Apocrypha. Or the Christmas hymn, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. The Bible doesn't talk about how it was at midnight. Where do we get this idea that the birth of Christ, that God came to us at midnight? It's from the Apocrypha. Or a hymn that we introduced a couple of weeks ago. All you works of God bless the Lord. A, a, a beautiful Jamaican hymn. It's actually based on words from the Apocrypha. So as Lutherans, we can... We can utilize the Apocrypha. We, we can respect it. We can appreciate it as a historical document, which in many places, though not all, is aligned with what we believe about Scripture. So if you have somebody in your family who's Catholic, maybe you ask them a little bit more about these books of the Apocrypha, or maybe you ask them, for a translation of their Bible, to familiarize yourself with this, these important historical books. But realize, as you read them, yes, there is truth. Yes, there are echoes of Scripture. But these words are not Scripture. So continue to read your Bibles. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.